okay the last video now and I'm just going to do a quick summary of what it is that we've looked at in this small set of videos we looked at setting the software settings the user interface the embroidery interface we looked at how we bring up our object properties bar. We looked at the resequence bar and the quick launch bar. We looked at the my threads and how you could add threads to your color palette, how you could choose the color palette that you wanted and how you could swap the threads that you chose for the original colors that are on the color palette when you first open the program. Then we looked at the machine filter and well, I'm not giving you this in the right order necessarily because I can't remember and then we looked at the hoop filter, we looked at creating our own cutting line copy, new design tab and pasting into the new design. We looked at the stitch player, we looked at how we can have fabrics for our background instead of a solid colour, we looked at how we could scan our own fabrics in for our applique and create a folder and put it into the correct directory. We looked at um, um, um. <laughs> uh, okay we looked at the carving stamp for the fin we looked at digitized blocks for the contour fill. We looked at the open shape and the context toolbars that go with it. The digitized closed shape and the context toolbars. We looked at creating a motif which you do with an object once you've created it. Until you've created it you won't get the create motif icon so let's just tap on that one. There it is. Now if I hadn't chosen one which had got two colours and we'd chosen just this one, won't get it either there. Um, because I've tied them all together. Well let's say I'll ungroup these. Ungroup. Thank you. Just this one. Because it's only one colour it's offering me a motif and a border. So click off that. We looked at reshape and how you can move your end points or your start points. Setting the width for your satin stitch in your object properties. Stem stitch. What else? Oh yeah, bringing in artwork. Now what I haven't shown you is how to send to a stitch format because as it is now cannot be used on an embroidery machine. Oh and in the resequence bar because objects are open the other option is colours and there's your sequence of colours. 
first three first two are your tack down sorry your placement line your tack down then the scales what was this one the jumps let's ignore that the fin and the tail they're grouped the outline placement line for the fins <laughs> that must be the zigzag no that's the ah that's the cut line that's the zigzag because we did that using the cut option inside of object properties that was the little run line I can't remember what that was and that's your final satin stitch cover then your eyeball and the pupil right now we've got all that we save it it saves it as an object format all these are objects and they all have the settings that you gave inside of your object properties now we're going to change it to a stitch file and to do that make certain you've got the correct machine in your machine filter and the correct hoop go to file export design you get a navigation folder um, dialog box and because I've got a 9900 it's saving this as a JPX so I tell that save and then later I can simply go to my folder and transfer it to a USB stick so I can use it on my machine. I hope this has been of some use to you. I think this is a great program. Now, I used to do a great deal of applique when my children were small. My youngest child now is 42 or 43. So I don't do an awful lot of applique anymore. <laughs> but I still do some for my grandkids. But I manually digitize mine. I don't use the applique tool. I prefer the control. Making them manually gives me. Oh, did I mention we looked at carve? Yeah. And because I manually digitize, I kept falling over my feet and my tongue showing you the applique tool. But I hope I made enough sense for you to understand and for you to be able to follow. This, of course, you won't see because this will be fabric. Right, so I am going to close this video here and as it's now gone past nine o'clock I'm going to put my feet up for five minutes and then get ready for my bed it's been a long day so I'll bid you good night and I'll see you all in another set of videos